Hey everybody, one little um, thing that I want to like warn you about or caution you about is um, a little thing with Illustrator, how Illustrator always, whenever you're doing a brush, whichever brush you touched last, it'll use that brush. And this is something to keep a little eye out because um, you know how I told you before, always you always want to paint with the gold and then you colorize it later. You know, whether you're touching one of these and then going into your brush stroke like so, or you know, you're just um, selecting a brush over here from the panel like that. You always want to um, draw with the, the gold first and then do the color. Um, and one thing that you want, I want to caution you about, I'm going to select this stroke and I'm going to use my eyedropper and make it colored. Well, it's, it has to do with Illustrator's um, trick of always using your last brush used. Well, say I'm taking this brush and I'm going to, you know, play around with the color just a bit. I want it to be this teal. Um, okay, so, and I'll zoom in here. I'm like way zoomed out, but say I was playing with this. Well, the last thing that I touched or whatever was this stroke here at the top, which is the colorizing stroke. So if I go if I'm touching this, messing around with the color, and I go straight into my um, brush tool here, it's going to use that color brush, this, the last one that I touched. That's why I let you know, always before you start drawing, touch a gold brush or select a gold brush and then use it because um, it's always going to, it has to do with that thing of, you know, using your last brush used. So we just don't, just to caution you, because also, um, if I undo that here, this, the blend mode was color. So if I move this around, it's actually a color, um, well, I'd have to bring it to the front object or ring to front. As you can see, this is a color brush. So it's not even like a regular opacity. So definitely follow, um, whenever you're using these brushes, they're quite easy, but just follow the protocol of selecting a gold brush and painting with a gold brush. Um, when you're going in to do that kind of thing, don't uh, don't make sure that you don't just touch um, a colored brush and then go straight into painting because if this top layer is selected like this, you're it's not going to be good. So yeah, it's going to give you a brush stroke with the opacity of color. So we just want to make sure we grab the right brush and then start painting here like that and then we can colorize it then we can just grab all this take our eyedropper tool and bam colorize it so that's just one little tip um, a very useful one for whenever you're working with these pre-colored brush strokes that I've created um, which most of the time make your life easy but you just got to take care not to touch them last before you uh, start painting you know that you always want to think about the color as last you do all the brushing and the the gold brush strokes first so okay well hopefully you'll enjoyed that